Hi, I'm Dan Jackson here to talk to you about Crestron's DMPS3 4K product line. They're great all-in-one devices for single display applications. And we're going to start with the DMPS3 4K50, which is a great product uh, for small rooms where all your sources and displays are within HDMI cable range of the unit. So first, we're going to plug in the HDMI output to the display. And then we're going to set up a simple auto switching scenario. So we're going to plug in HDMI input 1 to this laptop over here. And what you'll notice is that first laptop automatically shows up on the display. Then we'll take a second HDMI cable, plug it into HDMI input 2, and then plug the other end of that HDMI cable into this other laptop. Now what you'll notice is that laptop automatically gets shown on the display. Now if you then unplug the HDMI cable, it automatically switches back to that first laptop. Now let's say we have a scenario we want to do a little bit more. Uh, we want to integrate some switching at the table. So we have this great product called the Crestron Connected. Uh, it integrates cable management as well as control and power all in one unit that can be uh, screwed into the table using a four inch hole saw. So let's unplug our auto switching HDMI cables. And instead, we're going to plug in the HDMI cable uh, from the connected. And then we're going to plug in a USB cable uh, that gives power and control to the connected. So it's the HDMI cable and the USB cable. And you'll notice it lights up right away. We're then going to plug in that HDMI cable to that same laptop. It automatically shows up on the display and the LEDs go green. Now let's take this second connected over here and connect it into our system. So we're going to plug in the HDMI into input 2. We're going to plug in the USB into input 2. You'll notice it lights up right away. And then we're going to plug in our HDMI cable. Now, we plugged in the HDMI cable. It automatically switched over to this new laptop, and these controls went green. And if I want to switch back and forth between the two laptops, all I have to do is tap the button, and you can ping pong back and forth between the two different sources. So this is a great room application. Out of the box, you notice I didn't take out a laptop. This can run. Uh, this is a finished room system, effectively. But let's say I want to take it a little bit further. right? If I want to add a, a little bit more uh, goodness to the system, uh, say wireless presentation, we have this Air Media device here. We can take this Air Media device, um, plug it into HDMI input 3 of the system, and now, now this solution over here has integrated wireless presentation as well as laptop switching. But we can even take it a step further and take our streaming receiver box, plug that into the system, into HDMI input 4. And now, not only do we have laptops, wireless presentation uh, on the system, we also have streaming integration. Now, when you get to a system of this complexity, you probably want a little bit more control. So for those uh, that want more control, we have the MPB10 product, which is a push button controller that'll select sources, turn the display on and off, control the volume. Um, and we have these handy little labels that go in there so you can easily label everything. Or if you want to go a step further, we have our Crestron TSW panels that can be integrated without any programming, both 7 and 10 inch versions. Now all of this setup is, done, is great for a room where the display is in range of the equipment, meaning within about 30 feet. Now if you have a display that wants to go a little bit further or needs to run over a Cat5 structured cabling, you want to step up to our DMPS3 4K 100C with its digital media output. And I'll show you that now. So now we've just finished swapping out our DMPS3 4K 50 for a DMPS3 4K 100C, which adds a digital media output. And this is useful for applications where your display might be a little bit further away from the switcher. Uh, digital media supports distances up to 100 meters. So what we're going to do is plug in Cat5 cable to our digital media output. We're going to plug that into the digital media input on our DM receiver. 
and we're going to take an HDMI cable from the display and plug it into our HDMI output. Now what this does is provide audio, video, uh, HDMI CEC for control, Ethernet, uh, and even power to this remote box up at the display. So I can take the power supply, pull it out, and everything keeps working. And now what you've noticed is that our system functions exactly as it did before. We have Air Media up on the display, and if I want to select one of the other laptops, I can select that uh, via the connect -its. So this covers applications where the switcher might be further away from the display, but the sources are all close. For applications where the sources are a little bit further away from the switcher, we step up to the DMPS3 4K150C. So let's do that now. So now we've swapped out our DMPS 4K100C for a DMPS 4K150C, which adds two digital media inputs. And this is great for applications where your sources are also remote from the switcher as well as the display. So what we're going to do is take a DM cable, plug it into the first digital media input, and then plug that in to a remote DM switcher. And this will enable you to access a whole bunch of different sources that are in a centralized switching scenario. But maybe I've got a laptop that's also connected remotely, uh, perhaps at the end of the table. I'm going to plug in a DM cable to uh, in DM input number two. And then I'm going to plug in the other end of that cable into the digital media output of a DM transmitter. Uh, now what the transmitter does is it allows us to remotely connect sources that are up to 330 feet away, uh, provide a couple of different video inputs. Uh, in the case of this transmitter, uh, it's VGA and HDMI uh, and analog audio. So we can get in a remote source. So here we have a laptop, uh, it connects via HDMI. So I'm going to plug in a HDMI cable to the DM transmitter. And then I'm going to plug in the other end of this HDMI cable uh, into the laptop. Uh, so now that I've plugged the laptop in, uh, and if I select the right source, it will show up on the display just like that. And now we've got a nice big switching scenario, remote laptops, local laptops, uh, air media, streaming, all built into a DMPS system with no programming. Now you can use the AV Framework web-based configuration tool to either label the buttons on the MPB10 or to choose source icons and automatically generate the touchscreen GUI. With AV Framework, it's easy to deploy and configure systems without any programming or GUI design. It's scalable and repeatable, so every room works exactly the same, and the user experience is intuitive and consistent. Watch our AV Framework overview video for a detailed look at how to configure the system with the web-based tool.